Welcome on back, and we're going to be continuing on with the Merchant Quest. So, let's get to it. Alright, here we go. is vast. We should get to a vantage point if we want to find this expedition. Hmm. First, I'm going to go get mushroom goodies. Alright, camp spot. Need to get to a vantage point. Wow. What is this? Who? Why, yes. Yes, I will take a dead body. That was dumb. Hey! You settle down. Where's Kurt? Move away. Things are about to get dicey. Oh, that was horse crap. Oh yes, I will take all of those goodies. I don't know why it does that. It didn't used to have that problem moving back and forth. Twenty. No chance. Fifteen percent. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. 
that's why the intuition is gone. So it's not showing me everything I can loot. How interesting. Well, I guess that hat is more useful than I thought. So we'll leave that on. So that way I can see what I can loot here. Nope, don't need to go back. Alright, looks like we got a good amount of stuff looted here. We'll need to be going that way. That way is blocked. I know, Mr. Obvious here. <laughs> so, can't go that way. Let's come up over here. See, maybe if we go up this ladder, if it will... What it will give us... Pick level three. Wow. Okay, this is a ways off. No sliding down the ladder. That's too bad. Okay. That wasn't the place to be. So, I guess we go this way. Go up and around, see what we can find. And it looks like a spot right there. Okay, of course. <clears throat> okay, this this looks so much fun. That was horse crap. Alright, we're taking care of that right now. <laughs> you 
you're gonna see me you're gonna hear me say a lot of that's horse crap <clears throat> when the dodge happens When the dodge happens, and it didn't give it to me. Well, a lot of scales. Reptilian type creatures. I don't remember, is this pine resin or dragon's blood? Pine resin. Can't remember which tree it is that gives you dragon's blood. What is this? Oh! Professor's Notes. The natives had told us about a giant creature who reigned over the heights. And the statue we found could be a depiction of it. It's, it is a large winged beast. It seems agile and capable to fly but its body seems fragile and unprotected of course this is only a description and we will have to see one for ourselves to confirm these observations interesting but with the way we're Performing here, I'm not so sure we're ready for a uh, not so sure we're ready for a big boss battle yet. We still got some stuff we need to work on. Plus, it seems a little early in the game to be taking on. The legendary creatures around here. Of course, we have to jump right into the middle of the fray. Well, I can imagine. Green blood. I can't hold on much longer. Or Kurt, we really need to get him some good <laughs> armor here. And one heck of a two-handed weapon. So over here. Okay, that's the way we need to go. Let's take a look down here for a second. Like I said, hopefully I'll be able to find a camp spot. Those guys are sleeping. Let's try to go up and around. Another path. I 
All right, well, let's go ahead and clear them out. Yeah, we'll clear those out while we have a minute. Alright, I'm back to where we were heading. Different colored rock from the others. Yep. <laughs> Another different colored rock. Over there. Tent. This must be the expedition's camp. A camp here. In the open wind. It was definitely set up by scholars. Huh. Oh, gee, stone spears everywhere. I wonder what could have happened. Signs of combat. They were attacked. By the look of the tents in the campfire, it dates back several days. It seems they were taken prisoner. I don't see any bodies. leaves this sort of marking. Perhaps they were wielding magic. Yes. It is the art of the Donegada. One of the valley clans was here. Would you know which one? One who fights against the invasion of the peoples from your island. I can be sure of nothing more. Why would they attack scholars? They're not warriors. They come here as conquerors. This is enough. But they were not killed. Warriors would have been. Why don't you give us a little bit of insight into that? This looks like scientific equipment. This must be the Lost Expedition's campsite. Okay, we kind of figured that one out already. Okay, search the camp. There we are. Okay. Wait that up for a minute. This globular root has a dense and firm texture. The smell that emerges from it is strong and vigorous. I have observed several animals consuming it without any noticeable effect. Hence, it is likely to be edible. A distillation in the library should be more conclusive. Afreya has decided to move her tent further away. She says that our constant cackling prevents her from focus. This young woman is talented, but I understand why her master dismissed her. 
she has a bad temper. <laughs> the species of bird is heavily represented in the valley. They have proven to be incredibly curious. They come to they come so close to us that we could touch them. The natives must not hurt them, otherwise they'd be more prudent. And yet, their flesh is exquisite. It must be related to their beliefs. The <clears throat> this native people may consider them to be sacred. This looks like the journal hmm. of a naturalist. There are sketches of flora and fauna. There is no doubt. We are definitely on the trail of the lost expedition. It seems that one of the team kept a distance from the others. Let's see what we can discover. A trail of blood. That cannot be good. Follow it. Oh. Oh, boys. Well, I took care of that. <laughs> okay, not seeing anything to loot over here besides those. Hawthorne. Yep, I think we found the camp. But we'll follow the path. Hmm. Looks like some pine resin. Keep going. A corpse. The clothes cannot be mistaken. It is a scholar of the Bridge Alliance. From the looks of him, I would say he's been dead for days, as we already thought. This isn't the woman whose journal we found. There is still a chance that she remains alive. This man traded his life for all the suffering of my people. It was only a scholar, a sage, not a warrior on the battlefield. Do you think my people see a difference when bridgemen steal our people from their beds? From who do you think all the clans hide their children? This man was unarmed. And from the position of his body, I would say he was fleeing. It is not honor that motivates them. Maybe it was vengeance. I'll search the body. We might find something to help us understand. Well, if they're taking their children from their beds, yeah, we can say that vengeance is a very certain 
reason. I don't know of any culture that would take kindly to a trespassing non-indigenous people coming in and taking their children. That, that would probably cause quite a few incidents. Here is the isolated camp mentioned in the journal. Everything is in order, but the inhabitants are no longer there. Its position would have allowed them to escape the attack. Isolated. Discreet. Perfect visibility. Great choice. You go up there, but the other places it wouldn't. All right, let's see what's in this chest. Oh, God. <clears throat> we set up a small camp in the hollow of the valley we wish to study. The flora in this place is incredibly luxuriant this island is the only place where so many different species can be found next to each other I'm not gonna read all of this I'm certain we are being observed from a swamp there's something to take away from it it is a journal. That of a woman from the expedition, a certain Afra. She speaks of their research and relates here that she felt watched. She feared an attack was brewing. I believe she was right. The writing stops mid-sentence. A woman with sharp eyes. They might have saved her life. We must follow the tracks of the attack. They will certainly lead us to our party of intrepid scientists. This woman was right to fear the Donea Exregal. They must have followed this path coming from the swamp. This is where we should go if we want to find these lion scholars. Behind the swamp. It seems to be that way. But I didn't see a way down from there yet, yeah, no. Nope, looks like we're going to be trying to find another route. Trees, maybe? That is a no. Yeah, nope. Okay, yeah, path that way. I forgot this is very linear setup. I hope I can find a camp placement here soon.
That would be very nice. Okay. Here we go. This looks like the Those are islanders. They might be from the clan that attacked the Bridger camp. That's possible. They look like trackers. But what are they tracking? New prey, no doubt. Let's get closer. Well, first we're going to see what's over here. It's got something. Something here. Ah, stone chest. Huh. Very nice. Sneak up on. Try to. Just walk up to him. say We won't let you take us. We will not kneel down without a fight. Let's give it a shot. It says 100%, so hey. Wait. We have no desire to fight you. We only want to find the Lion Sages. They are not warriors, but their chief is ready to send an army of warriors to liberate them. If you help us bring them back, you will save your tribe from a costly battle in lives. He speaks truly. Look, one of them is already eager to bring Lion Warriors back to us. All we wanted was for them to tell us where our brothers are being kept. What good is this if we must leave our camp behind? Very well. Stay away from the main entrance. Our guards will not welcome your arrival. Pass around. There is a smaller entrance hidden there. The lions are kept in a home in ruins. There must be a key somewhere to open the door, but I know not where it is kept. Well, that was beneficial. Well, that was beneficial. So, let's see. Let's see what else is around here. Like this. to kill you tell me then what is your intended purpose we were sent to look for you apologies but allow me to express my doubts well, after this little swim you could always try to pull the trigger who sent you to find me well, we were not looking for you in particular but the entire expedition it was governor Burren who asked us to find you he's worried about you you haven't been reporting. You should have said that straight away. I must admit, I was hoping for a rescue of a different nature. Do you have a name? Desarde. I'm from the congregation. Hmm, the new governor's cousin. 
who wears an islander face. I've heard stories about you. And them? I am Siora, daughter of Bladnid. From the people that your own capture and torture. I've never taken anyone. On the contrary, we had hoped to exchange our knowledge with your own. Kurt. Simply Kurt. I protect our excellencies back. And if one of your violent fits overcomes you, rescue party or not, I will kill you. Thank you, Kurt. I am Afra, a scholar from the Bridge Alliance. It is rather rare to find me rolling in the marshes. I study the fauna and flora of this isle. I should imagine you have many questions. We saw the site where you were attacked. What exactly happened? We were taken by surprise. One moment everything was calm, and the next a war party of natives fell upon us. I had an uneasy feeling and kept myself apart, but when I heard my fellow scholars shout, I rushed over. Most of my companions are incapable of defending themselves, and we didn't have guards to protect us. One of them tried to flee, but they brought him down. We decided to give ourselves up to avoid a massacre. What has happened since the attack? How long have you been in these marshes? We were taken prisoner and were brought to a village nearby. I was able to escape while the others were taken to a house that they use as a prison. I wanted to join the Bridge Alliance frontier post not far from here, but I wasn't able. So I doubled back to keep watch of the village from a distance. I have been hoping to find a way to free my companions without any success so far. Have you made progress in your search for a cure? Hmm. We were studying some quite remarkable plants when we were attacked. The region is rife in unknown and novel species. Some seem incredibly promising. The local shamans know all these plants and they use them in their remedies. If only we had been able to converse with them rather than getting ourselves captured. Could you lead us to the village where your colleagues are being held prisoner? Certainly. We are oh so very close. And I fully intend to participate in this rescue. I'm not one to sit around and twiddle thumbs. Wow. Hopefully we don't get in a skirmish. It's the last thing I want to do is start ruining things with the natives. Does look like a nice quiet walk around. That's gonna work. She caught on a rock. There we go. Push her.
Man, so many places to go and look. This is where the natives took your colleagues. Yes, it is here. These ruins are being used as a camp by the native raiders. There are so many of them. Better to remain discreet. I have spied on the camp and discovered where my colleagues are being held. They are being kept in the old walls of the main ruin. There we go. Everybody go to your respected corner so I can work. I would rather avoid unwarranted deaths. We should wait until nightfall and look around the camp to find a more discreet way to get inside. Yes, I was planning on something. Ah, we've got a skill point. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, that will be useful. <laughs> yeah. Nothing like setting little landmines everywhere for your enemies. <clears throat> We got here. <laughs> well, not too bad running around find some more hoof fungus. Okay. Check the time here real quick. So, I think we're going to stop right here. Well, first, let's talk to her. Quit running away. Stop it. Stop running. Okay, now let's see if I can talk to her. Speak. Speak. I can speak to those two. Alright, no dialogue.
looking here. I'm not going to do anything yet, but I definitely want to see if there's goodies around. Look, goodies. We should wait for till nightfall to go down there. But I'm blocked in. Okay. This is great. Oh. Duh. Never mind. Take a little poke. Things are about to get dicey. <laughs> that was quite enough out of you. Ah, we're at the old ruins already. Just like that, it is now nightfall. Still running around, so many glowing things to pick up. I don't remember what I used borage for, but eh, it's time to sneak. See what we can find, hopefully not. Oh yeah, those are natives. So let's see if we can find a path around without drawing their attention. Gotta be another way around. It's got to be. Oh, come on.
I really don't want to have to fight my way in. It's their way around this way. I really, really don't want to find my way in. Okay. Looks like we don't have much of a choice. So let's try and sneak around them. Nowhere that way. There's nowhere that way. Can we sneak along the wall without them seeing us? Even though I've got a giant flashlight on me and there's a glowing light. As they were about to lock my companions inside a cell. We're going to need a key. Please, Onol Manawi, let's try to avoid a fight. Okay. So I guess as long as we didn't stand up, they couldn't see us. Which, okay. That's the way we're going with it, fine. We're getting closer. I really did not want to have to do this. Yeah, it looks like I didn't have much of a choice with that one. Okay. Please tell me there are no more in here. Okay. And with that, I'm going to wrap it here before we release them because I don't know how many more guys we're going to fight.